Sports, Drugs, Entertainment. What's your name and age, and where we and where you from? Brian Jackson, fifty-eight, Montclair, New Jersey. So you're from Montclair. That's where you grew up at. Yes, born in North New Jersey. Um, who was with you in the house when you was growing up? Who lived in the house with you? My mother, my father, all of my sisters and brothers. Even nephews and nieces as well. Um, what schools did you go to growing up? Went to Edgemont, Edgemont Middle School in, in Montclair when I first moved from North here. Initial Wayne after that, Mount Hebron, and on to the high school. And Glenfield as well for a year. Okay. Glenfield School in Montclair, New Jersey. Did you have any hobbies as a child? Yes. I used to love to fish, play basketball, football, we hiked, we camped, did a lot of things. Um, did you play sports as a child? Yes. What sports? Basketball, football, you know, ran around with soccer a little bit. We all played baseball. We did everything. So when did you start playing basketball specifically? Specifically and wholly at about 13 or 14 years old. And did you start playing for a school team, a church league, in the park? What did you start playing at? Well, we had the little park league for the kids and, you know, adults as well. But I didn't play organized until... Didn't play organized until like 18. What was your favorite part of playing basketball? The whole part of it. I loved every aspect of the game. On what position did you play? Small forward. Did you have any pregame rituals? Yes. I would walk around the park, go get some water, just, you know, might walk down the block and smoke a little piece of joint and come back to the court and be ready to go. What was the first team you played for organized? A squad me and my boys formed for young boys. We played, we started off playing in the leagues you know, around town and around the city, the city area and things like that. Uh, what town, what city were y'all playing in? What towns and what cities? And of course, we started in Montclair, but there was North, there was East Arm, you know, there was Jersey City, there was Morristown, you know, anywhere. What kind of sneakers were people wearing back then playing basketball now? What kind of sneakers uh, were popular? Uh, at, the, at this time, this is when Jordans first came out, you know, but we all, we all did it, but Reeboks, Nikes, Adidas, always my favorite. Who is your biggest role model in the sport of basketball that you really looked up to back then, back when you were young? Professional or just? Anybody in general. Yeah, I actually have, I'll, I'll say three, two of them are professionals, two of them are professionals, Dr. J, George Gervin, and the guy we came up who ra helped raise me in Montclair, New Jersey, with Craig Strout. So who is your favorite player, NBA player in the 80s? Were you watching NBA back then? Yes, sir. Who is your favorite player in the 80s? Again, I would say Dr. J and George Gervin, but if I had to pick one, it was Dr. J. What about in the 90s? 90s. I can't say I, I can't say I did I, I had a favorite, but I loved them all. Okay, what position did you what position did you prefer to play in basketball versus what the coach made you play or put you in? Small forward. 
you prefer to play small forward yeah. versus playing uh, the, the power forward or the center. How do you feel about basketball practice? I loved it. That was I thought it was very necessary. Hmm. So in one word, describe how it how you feel when you were on a team and y'all won a game. Just give us one word how it feels. Great. Great to say the least. Well, describe how it feels when you lose in one word. Hmm. Terrible, horrible. Just the opposite. How important is the mental part of the game of basketball? It's everything in the game of basketball. Basketball, you know, applies to life as well. And what aspect? Elaborate, please. Well, like every athlete, I, you know, I had a coach tell me once, you know, basketball is life. And, and there's many ways to apply it. Okay, at what age were you when you were able to dunk? At what age? Uh, ninth, ninth grade. How tall were you in the ninth grade, if you remember? Probably about 5'11". Did you listen to any music before games? What was the theme music back then, if any? All of it was. Whatever song you was feeling, your favorite song that day, you know, Run DMC or LL Cool J or Eric B and Rakim, something that gets you into that rhythm 